Good evening, I'm Michel Graymans, and tonight I'm going to talk about restoring power to the people. Before some of you are start, will start running away, I'm not going to talk about this type of power, but so keep seated. Around the world we have different, uh, last decennia we had different types of disasters which struck the world. For example, we have the infamous tsunami of 2004, or the more, most recent earthquake in Haiti. But last year, our island was struck by a, also by a threat. A windless hurricane called Tomas, which really sounds harmless, but in fact really is a threat. Because the fact that it was, it was a windless hurricane meant that it wasn't w moving. Therefore, it kept raining on our island for 24 hours straight, causing huge floods and a lot of, lot of damage to the infrastructure. See, what happens during disasters is that communities have problems maintaining power. And when communities have problem ma problems maintaining power, maintaining communication becomes a problem. And when communication is threatened, the flow of information becomes a problem. And if that's the case, it would be very difficult for emergency personnel or the government organizations to really provide aid because they have no recent information, therefore they can't plan where the help services will be deployed. So this ultimately results in bad decisions. So the power I'm talking about here tonight is the power of communication. And last year, I got inspired by Tomas, and I tried, uh, and I want to reinvent the way we communicate during these disasters. So I came up with the following plan: Why don't we use existing wireless technology, which is a cheap solution, but more importantly, it's a low-powered solution. Therefore, it will be very easy to power it using alternate energy sources, like solar panels and a few car batteries. So the system basically consists of two parts. There's the base antennas, which will be located on top of the tall buildings or on top of hills, which will provide the connection, the signal, across areas. And then there were the other part, which is called the client. It consists of an antenna, which will be placed outdoors, and this will connect to the closest uh, base antenna. Inside you would have digital communication devices, as simple as an IP phone, which is as simple as just to call, or you have more advanced hardware, like a laptop, which will be using a sophisticated coordination communication system, therefore being able to help the, the aid organizations directly. So last year we took the system to the test. We invested in a, base, in a base antenna and a client antenna, and we managed to get access to a roof very close to our capital and located on top of a hill. And from this location, we had a great view on the most populated areas in our, on our island. So we had a good start. So during the testing period, we drove around our island testing the connection at multiple sites, and we were very surprised with the results. At an insane distance of 10 kilometers, which was pretty much the furthest we, can go, we could go, we, had, we achieved speeds that were at least twice the speed of our average broadband internet connection here on Curacao. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is about five and a half miles for <laughs> American miles. So with the data we've gotten, we went back to the drawing board. And we first located all the necessary organizations which would need this connection. For example, the police, firemen, and the medics. And from here, we went to research how could we cover these locations, how could we cover these areas, so that they can have the connection. And we came up with the following plan. 
each black point is a base antenna. So at these locations, which are hills, we place a, a base antenna, which will which would cover all the, the all the red areas here. But we weren't satisfied because we didn't restore power to the people yet. We restored communication, but we want to go a step further. To, to be able to bring communication closer to the people, therefore the power, we have to provide locations closer to the neighborhoods with a connection. And if you look, what, what central locations do we have within neighborhoods? We find community centers, sports centers, um, or even public schools. And if we could supply each of them with a base antenna, or with a um, client antenna, we could easily bring power to the people. And since you already have this whole area covered anyway, you could even go one step further. If you would put, which since it's a low powered system, you could easily put an antenna on top of buses, fans, or any other emergency vehicles. Therefore, having mobile, mobile communication systems driving around the island, bring communication even closer and where you need it. This, you could integrate the system with GPS tracking, with live video streaming, so that from the central base stations, people could, f the emergency personnel could easily see the situation at, the, at each location, therefore making decision making very easy and really based upon recent facts. Thank you.